and we are rolling. All right. Hey there, internet. Headset's coming down, so the microphone works better. I have discovered that the Vibes built-in microphone works better when the headset is actually on my eyes. So, I recorded this earlier. It didn't work out so great because I was I was trying to do too much with my computer all at one time. The the, uh, the, the video came out super choppy, and it was ugly. It was a slideshow, almost literally. Uh, so, by way of explanation, um, I have been using Google Earth VR to do virtual walks around different areas. My current project in the uh, in the in there to get my exercise is for about an hour a day. I take a walk down Interstate Interstate 80. I'm going from the west end in San Francisco, California, to the east end in. I can never name, remember the name, T-something, New Jersey. Anyway, all the way across the country, uh, west coast to east coast, it is a journey of about 2,900 miles. At the pace that I go in the Google Earth VR walks, uh, that's about four or five miles a day. So assuming I do the whole thing, I might get tired of it and, and quit partway through. I hope not. I'd like to finish it. But assuming I do the whole thing, it's going to take a couple years. Like 730 days, I think, is what the math worked out to be when I when I plugged in the numbers. Uh, so anyway, here's my setup. Um, it's, it's very basic. I don't have a special treadmill. I don't have anything special beyond the VR gear, which is an HTC Vive. It's one of the older ones. Um, so it's not like the Pro or, the, or anything super special. It's not the... Uh, the, the valve index or it's not a, uh, an oculus because I don't want to give Mark Zuckerberg any more of my data than I already have. Uh, so Google Earth VR, you can see it says click to start, which is you basically click this little touchpad circle button thing. Both controllers could do that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and clicky click. It loads in. If you have a VR headset, I recommend getting a Google Earth VR. It's free on Steam, so there's nothing to buy, no uh, no, no purchase cost to worry about. Um, it starts you out in one of several uh, pre-selected areas. This apparently is the Half Dome Trail in Yosemite Village, California. Quick look at the street view here. Interesting view. Two ways you can enter street view. You can either put your head in the bubble like I just did, or you know, more accurately, bring the bubble to your head. There's whoever was taking the picture. Or you can point your other wandy thingy at it and, and click, click, click to enter the street view. That way you don't have to have your head still in the bubble the entire time. You can look around and move both. That's how I do it. I go into the bubble like that. Um, and then click it again to get out of the street view. So what we're going to do, a uh, quick demonstration of my process. I am going to first... Let's find a place. Let's go to the search. The, the search in this, um, it doesn't do lat longitude and latitude. You have to actually put in a place. So you can't just be like X degrees north by Y degrees east or whatever. So we are going to look for Central Park, New York. It, it knows what I want to do. So let's go ahead and head there. Loady, load, load, loady, load, load, loady, load, load. Central Park, New York, New York. Wow, that is a lot bigger than I figured it would be. This is me not being very familiar with New York Park and, you know, video games that are set in it, like the Spider-Man series. So anyway, again, this is the, uh, I'm not sure if it has a special name. I'm just going to refer to it as the world view, where you are out in the greater world, 3D rendered buildings where available. Otherwise, it's the uh, satellite and or aerial photography imagery. Uh, let's see here. So we need to zoom in a little bit so we can get a straight view of the space. Uh, let's see. Let's actually go to the street outside of Central Park because I'm pretty sure the, uh, the path is going to be uninterrupted. Because when you're in the street view, you look around, you can see my pointer turns into an arrow indicating which direction I'm going to go. And if I can't go that direction, the arrow disappears. So I will, I will have, I have, I have had some instances where I'm walking around just, you know, like a pedestrian path, and suddenly I can't walk any further because they just didn't take pictures that direction. 
So here we are. What is this? The corner of Central Park West. And what's this other street that we're on? I can't see the other sign. It's there. Oh, well. I don't know New York. But this is Central Park West, apparently. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into position. Now, uh, since I cannot see the room, I keep my desk chair over here. I'm going to push it up against the desk. Kind of peek out the bottom of the, of the goggles. Peeking out the bottom so I can grab my water as well. If you're going to be exercising, make sure you just stay hydrated, preferably with water. Gatorade or other sports drinks are probably okay as well. But, you know, hydration does not mean grab a beer and get walking. Nor does it mean a two-liter bottle of soda at your hip. So, got the chair here, my arms resting on the chair. I leave this one resting on the, on the chair to make sure I kind of stay anchored in the world. Because, again, can't see the room. I don't want to walk into something and trip over stuff and step on the cat, whatever. Um, so I keep this one anchored. I might kind of wander a little bit, but at least I know I'm on the chair. This end, this arm, I've got my uh, knockoff Fitbit on this wrist. And so that's going to count my steps, sort of. I don't know how accurate it actually is, but it every now and then is like, hey, you've done 10,000 steps today. You're done. Cool. So what I do, I get into position. I uh, orient myself. I say, we'll, we'll go along Central Park West. Why not? And I pick my direction, and I could take I take eight steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and go to the next picture. Oh, now I'm now I'm walking into traffic. That's great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, obviously, counting out steps like that for an hour would be boring as all get out. So. I have music. Now, I can't, uh, there's something I think about the, the interaction between OBS and the VR overlays where normally I could pull up a, uh, a virtual desktop and use this as a, as a virtual mouse to clicky click click and start my music. But because I'm recording, I have to do this the old fashioned way. So I have to headset up for a second and go get my music for one moment. There it is. Okay, so a little bit push play. That's it. Come back down. All right, so I basically I get my music ready and I hit the play button and we can get to walking. All right. See, now we're on the other side of the, of the street. Street view is somewhat interesting. It's not always, uh, not always consistent. Sometimes you hop lanes. Sometimes you can tell it was taken during the summer or the fall. Or the spring or whatever. Every now and then you might catch a glimpse of the camera like maybe we'll see it in this guy's window as we pass him yep there's the camera hi camera of course maybe what I need is a Better way to count my steps. Because so if I get distracted with seeing me along or talking to my imaginary audience, I lose count of my steps. And as I said, my current project is walking down I 80, but I wandered through. New York, Venice, London. I even simulated a walk from my parents' house to 
uh, the high school, the junior high school that I went to for seventh and eighth grade. Which I think is a different school, a different grades now. I don't know. It's been a long time since I was in junior high. As you can see, we're a bit higher than uh, than walking because we are a camera mounted on top of a moving car. to this being, of course, doesn't matter what the weather's doing. Doesn't matter about traffic. Disadvantage, though, being it's probably not the greatest workout you'll ever get. I think that's the end of the song, so let me, let me go ahead and stop that so we don't, so YouTube doesn't go on to the next next song in its pre-generated playlist. Alrighty, so yeah, that's a quick little demonstration of my virtual walking process. Again, we just pick a direction, take eight steps, six, seven, eight, next picture. Eight, that's the generators or something? What is that? I think it is generators, I wonder what's going on there. I don't know. I don't, I've never been to New York, so I don't know what they're doing. So, yes, this is the, the, the process I go through. Okay, that I do it for about an hour a day. Gives me around four to five miles on the, on the freeway. And when I'm done, one thing I do is first I get a screenshot of where I am so I can upload that to YouTube. Or not YouTube, Facebook. 75 Central Park West. All right, then we come out of the street view, into the world view, and let's see, right about there. So keep an eye on that spot. Okay. Fly out, and then we take a larger picture here, screenshot of the wider area. Find the button. So that way I could have another screenshot of this is a bigger picture of, you know, give you a bit more perspective where I am. And then I will go into the uh, Google Maps and get the uh, get the aerial view of, of, the, of the actual map area and basically make a path from my previous, from where I started to where I am. Upload all that to Facebook to share people. Here's how my virtual walk went. And then here's the music that I listen to. You use the, the YouTube music is what I use to, to, to listen to stuff. Uh, so yeah, that is it. That's my process. Any questions? Let me know. I don't know that this is something that would necessarily be like super entertaining to, to watch on a Twitch stream or anything like that. And of course, if I'm listening to music, I'm going to get demonetized in a big hurry because I don't own that music. I don't own the rights to broadcast that music. I'm sure this video is going to be flagged for uh, content for demonetization. I don't care. I don't make money off of my YouTube. I don't make money off of Twitch. Nobody watches my shit anyway. So, there we have it. That's it. Cool beans. And, uh, until next time, even though we weren't really playing a game, per se, enjoy the games that you play, and have a good one. <laughs>